Here at the Chicago Innovation Day, there's something really special happening. There's over 25 machines, all doing live demonstrations in blade manufacture, five axis machining, additive manufacturing. There's also a special concept that's really important here, that's machining transformation. Welcome to DMG Mori USA. So John, congratulations on the Chicago Innovation Day. Thank what you. is happening today? So today is our springtime Chicago Innovation Days. So we're debuting all of our latest technology, um, showing customers what's new, what's cutting edge, how they can, in their own shop, make money, save money, and mitigate risk. Yeah, absolutely. So you've got some brand new machinery to show here that's never been seen in the US before. We do. Um, some of the brand new machinery never seen in the US, the INH, so we're showing the INH 63. So if any of you remember the old DCG model, the DCG is back, twin ball screws on all the axes. Um, DMU 75, it's the second generation, so higher accuracy with even better thermal management um, and an improved table design. DMU 40 is brand new for us, so it's the smaller version of our DMU 50. And then the NZ Duet, which is um, designed in our Italian factory and produced in Japan. So it is a uh, two turret um, turning machine. So it's, it's, it's the successor to our NZ, NZX series, if you're familiar with that. Absolutely. It's not just brand new machines that people haven't seen that are doing live demonstrations. There is, there's loads of demos here. What, why do you do so many demonstrations? Yeah, because our philosophy is always to have live cutting on all the machines throughout the entire show. Because you really want to see what's going on and, and how it will actually perform and run in your shop. And most of the you know, demos are using steel and stainless and, you know, and proper materials. Absolutely. There's no, there's no like just, just aluminium demos here no, across the board. No. Um, but what I find interesting is customers are looking at all the demonstrations, but their, their attention is being particularly drawn to a few machines. What, why is that and what machines are they? So the few machines they're drawn to, I would say are the premier machines, of course, but the ones that really show process integration. Because what we see with our customers and what, what we're really demonstrating, probably you've seen the, the message of messaging of machining transformation. So what we're doing, process integration, so what that means, Previously, we would make a part on several machines. We're combining that process into one machine. So for example, the NZ Dua, we have milling and turning. Of course, turning's the base of the machine, but we also have milling functions. So you can make a really complex part in just one machine. And of course, our philosophy after that, once you have a stable process, that's when we want to figure out how to run that spindle longer. That's when we automate. So whether it's a bar feeder, a lot of bar feeders out there, gantry, robot automation, depends on what makes sense. And then after we've got that, we have a productive running shop. The next key is to monitor that shop. So of course, the, we have our DMG Mori Messenger, which is a, a platform where you can have shop-wide monitoring. And then we have some more advanced tools that we're showing here as well, Tulip. So if you want to go into custom OEE management of your shop, so let's say you're a real data-driven, you know, want to dig deep, that's a great tool that's out there too. Absolutely. So as well as the process integration being shown on the NZ Duet, Yep. Uh, there's, also, um, there's also a great demonstration that shows the automation side of things. It's something you don't often see, isn't there? Right. So, so another new machine um, is our 3D um, powder bed. It's an additive machine, SLM 30 US. So what we're making on this machine is a demo in, I believe it's in stainless steel. We're presenting a device that's used in eye surgery. So <laughs> when I looked at it the first time, I kind of cringed a little bit thinking about it being used. But it's a really clever little part, and you can imagine, components made for eye surgery, they're not a high production part. So we're showing it in a practical way. It can actually be made, 3D printing the part, and then finishing it in our NTX 500. So the NTX 500 has an in-machine traveling robot, so it starts with a tray of parts on the side, automatically loads each part, finish cut, drill the little holes and the little finish features, and out comes the complete batch of parts, completely unattended. Yeah. So there's the process integration, um, the automation, and of course we're doing all the monitor in that machine as well. So it's showing all of the mess, all of the what we're trying to show what's possible in your shop today. Absolutely, it's good to see the, the actual production ready automation of kind of an overlook component, the additive component actually done here on the shop floor. Um, there's one last uh, component, one last monitoring uh, setup you're showing, which is the DMU 75, right. um, doing some blade machining. Yep. And you actually have some, some more, even more in-depth monitoring than just machine monitoring with that, right. don't you? So maybe you're talking about the Geminir software. So the Geminir software, it's a digital twin concept to where we can see um, through a, 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 a digital model of the actual cutting process what's going to happen and optimize in a digital realm 
what you're actually going to cut on the machine. So new for us and a pretty slick um, solution and tool you can find and see here. Perfect. So that's brand new machinery and demos that are grounded in reality, cutting live here at DMG Mori USA. You've got to come to the next tech day. Let's hear from Nate now, a dedicated DMG Mori customer who makes rocket parts, what machine transformation means to him. So Nate, tell me a little bit about um, your company and what do you do, please? Yeah, I'm the owner of Ouroboros Fabrication in Lakewood, Colorado. We're manufacturers for the space and defense industries. And what kind of components are you making? We specialize in propulsion hardware for the space and defense industries. Yeah, and those are difficult materials, they're quite heat resistant. Yeah, a lot of Inconel, titanium, Hastelloy, a, a fair amount of 3D printed and additively manufactured components that we do the post additive machining on. Uh, some of those type of components really necessitate that you uh, roll with the reality of, of the component, whereas it might be a little bit different than the CAD model, and, and you have to uh, go about work holding a little bit of a different way, but we've, we've really grown in, and excelled in that type of hardware, so we lean into that, uh, as well as things like turbines, blisks, bladed components, flow path components, uh, as well as other higher volume things like satellite parts. And so why, why would you fly all the way over from Colorado to Chicago to come see something like this? We love to stay current on technology that DMG Mori is coming out with and uh, really have been interested in this machine specifically, the INH series five axis machines. Yeah, and why is it important to see, I mean, it's a beast right here. Why is it important to see machines in the flesh like we can see here? Uh, the images you see online and looking at the, you know, the pamphlets never quite expresses the, the magnitude and mass of, of what we need to get through the door, but uh, it also allows us to really see what this machine's capable of. The, the live demonstrations really help to see what this machine can do. Absolutely. And what about the demonstrations showing metal cutting in the flesh? Right now, there's over 25 machines here. Why is it important to come and see those demonstrations? When I say a, a picture says a thousand words, there's nothing quite like being here in person and seeing what this machine can do in real life. Yeah, absolutely. I'm amazed you've flown so far to come see this. Um, and what, is there anything, been anything you've been surprised by or impressed by at this tech day today? Uh, I've been really surprised by some of the new generations of the DMG Mori machines, especially the, the Monoblock series, the Gen 2 that just came out, DMG 75. Really impressed with that machine. Uh, there's the new spindle, the Speedmaster spindle, the 30,000 RPM option that we're really excited about. Uh, there's a lot of things that DMG Mori is really leaning into and, and innovating in. Yeah, absolutely. There's some really some brand new features here that people haven't seen before. Absolutely. And there's something underlying these demonstrations. It's something DMG Mori USA here called machining transformation. How does that mean, what does that mean you bring back to your machine shop when you come back after coming to see a tech day like this? Absolutely. The, the first step to me is to move into multi-axis machining, uh, utilizing five-axis equipment and uh, really reducing the amount of setups that you have in your operations. And then from there, optimizing as far as automation and process integration to be able to get the, the most done in the least amount of both space and time as possible for our customers. And with the machinery you've got, it's not only you're not only able to change over from different styles of production, you can maintain precision and accuracy across, across all those products. Absolutely, the repeatability on these systems is uh, amazing. We're, we're seeing two ten thousandths of an inch repeatability on our fixtures. If you were to sum up what machining transformation means to you, what would you say? Uh, machining transformation means to me utilizing all of the technology that's available to us and able to be innovative and efficient for our customer base. Uh, this industry is very competitive and it not only benefits us but also our customers and when that symbiotic growth happens together we're all able to succeed. And what does it mean for you as a DMG Mori customer um, having these machines on site but knowing there's this amount of support here in Chicago? We've been very impressed with DMG Mori's both local and global support. Uh, they've always been very responsive to any of our needs and also really helped us find the right equipment for the job and make sure that we're set up for success in our manufacturing. If you were to try and persuade uh, some more engineers to even come from further afield, they think maybe this is too far to come to or they don't think it's maybe worth it, how would you convince them to come to this innovation day? I think that it's imperative for us to stay current on the technology that we use in our day-to-day -day life and in our, our manufacturing ventures. Uh, it's so easy to become lackadaisical or uh, complacent in, in technology of this kind that you'll be left in the dust very quickly if you're not leveraging the innovation that happens in industry. So it's, it's a matter of do or die to stay on top of current trends in, in this technology.